Oh, and welcome to another video from Paraplays. It's been a while, I know. Long story. Anyway, today we're going to be looking at Onward. There's a new map and a new update has come out. It feels like it's been forever since we got any new content for this. Which it has, to be honest with you. We know Dante went up to Steam. Valve was working up there. And it feels like things have really slowed down. But let's jump in and have a look at actually what's new. So, first up on the screen, you can see it's now a point system. Not quite sure whether I actually like this. It's a little bit like Counter-Strike where there are certain points now that you can buy. So you can't add, let's say, a four grip a silencer and then have body armor and two grenades and a smoke hog. You know, you get the idea. So now it's it's limited. It's not all how, how well you do. It seems to be, this is what you can buy. These are the points. Not quite sure I like it, but it is what it is. So there are a few little optimization things and a few little network things that have been updated and we've also got a new map and on screen you can see right now this is a map called Bazaar so what we'll do is we'll get in here have a little quick look around and see what we actually think about this map now first thing I thought when we actually jumped in here is what does this remind me of it reminds me of another game I couldn't quite put my finger on it but I think what it is now looking back on this I think it's got a little bit of a Battlefield 2 feel to it if anybody can remind me what that map is, or if you actually know what I'm talking about in here, it seems to have that feel. Although I suppose any map that's within the Middle East is going to have that sort of vibe to it. I wonder if we can go up these steps. Yes, we could. So we can go up here. So we're actually getting into a little bit more of a verticality when it comes into some of the gameplay, which I think this game kind of needs. I know on some of the other, some of the open levels, there are. It looks like ladders within some of the buildings, even though they're about 50 foot wide, it feels like in virtual reality. You feel like you want to be able to go up them and you can't climb up ladders, which I'm sure will come eventually, or whether there's a specific reason why that's not actually in the game. So, the chances are that this map is going to be mirrored. It'll be fair for each side. So there's going to be these two long corridors on both sides. And this up here, this sort of castle-y outskirts, reminds me of reminds me of Project Reality. Again, can never remember any names of the maps. I think if you play Project Reality, you probably know what I'm talking about. And it looks like we've got some nice little areas in these walls that we can actually shoot through. No, there's no jump button. I don't know whether you can climb over that in VR by jumping. I've never actually tried it. So we've got these little alleyways that we can pretty much cover all the way down there. Oh, oh, I'm a boy myself. <laughs> no, I'm tired. Let's work our way around and have a look. So there's little, little, there's rubble, there's huts. We now know that there is a lot better integration with bullet penetration. So bullets will go through fences and things like that so especially in suburbia now the fences are not going to offer you real protection they are literally going to be like a wooden fence which is pretty much going to be nothing and there is different effects now on the full metal jacket and the armor piercing rounds now there's a now what a shame i was thinking there's a ladder there wouldn't it have been great if you could go all the way up to the top up there and actually be you know almost like the crow's nest or a sniper's nest and get overview and eyes on. You can basically do recon for the rest of your team, telling you where the enemy are and where they're moving. Move up, cover them, all that stuff. That would have been really cool, but it looks like not. And we can't open doors as yet, which is something that I have asked Dante for. If any of you remember America's Army, you could actually open the doors and you could hear the door opening. And it got to the point where people would push the door halfway so you could see through it, so the enemy had to close it and then open it and you could hear it and shoot through the doors. So, being able to stack up and get your teammates to be able to open the doors would be fantastic. As we move down past the Abrams, seems to be a hell of a lot of bars on this street. Now that looks like we can actually climb all the way up to the top. And actually, while well, I remember reading in the notes for this level, there is occasionally on one or two of the maps a sandstorm. So I'm hoping I can get some footage of... Oh, they've blocked it off. Again, the opportunity for an increased verticality on this on these maps would have been 
really great because you think you'd have an advantage of being up there, but if you're one of the last people on your team and you're having to protect the objective, you've got to come all the way back down here again and you are actually exposed. So it is fair on both sides. Let's have a little look further down here as we're coming down. So it's going to be pretty much in the red. We've got a small little bazaar here which is probably going to be such as, which is the one with the train track in it? Subway. It's got kind of a little subway markety feel to it. And as we come around this side, this is probably going to be a mirrored version of the other side. I'm just working me down. See where the objective is. I've got a minute left to show you around here. I mean, it is great to get another map, but it just feels like we've been waiting so long. And I know we're supposedly they've added more map makers now. It would have been nice for this update if it was two or three maps, just to keep the interest up. Because what tends to happen is people are going to play this to death now and then get bored of it, like they did with Suburbia and then with Subway. God, I'm tired today. Oh. And they're going to play it to death, and that's that's really what's going to happen. So that's a little look at Suburbia. Nice to get some new maps, but I was hoping there would be some more content rather than just one map. But there is a new game mode, and in the next video, which I'm going to upload after this, we'll have a look at some multiplayer footage on this map look at the new game mode which is VIP mode and see if I can get some footage of the sandstorm. Anyway, I'm in Paraplays, in the bazaar, in the Middle East, fucking shit all. I'll see you in another video. Bye bye.